This is a flip video about pH scale and calculations. The pH scale is a scale that we use to measure the amount of H plus in a solution. The more H plus we have in the solution, the more acidic the solution is. So where do we get the P in pH? Well, P scales are used by scientists to express or to measure things that are in small numbers. And so our amount of H plus concentration in our beakers are extremely small amounts. So we can use a pH scale and it helps us measure things in better numbers. Usually the pH scale will range through 1 through 14, though you can go below a 1 and above a 14. Okay. A pH scale is based on logarithms, which you've probably learned in math. Logarithms are base 10 logs. So we're going to be using your calculator and the log button. Okay. All right. So as I said earlier, the pH scale ranges from 1 to 14, though you can go below a 1 and above a 14, kind of like a super acid and a super, super base. If your pH value is between 1 and 6, it's considered an acid. If it's a 7, it's neutral. 7 to 14 is a base. So the more acidic it is, the more H plus concentration. The more basic it is, the less H plus concentration. Okay? And neutral means equal concentrations of H plus and the OH minus. All right, so let's look at some sample calculations. It says calculate the pH where, it, where H plus is equal to 1.0 times 10 to the negative fifth molarity. Let's remember the brackets mean concentration. And again, my value has a capital M for molarity. Molarity measures concentration. So this solution has an acid in it, and the concentration of the H+, plus, which represents the acidity, is 1.0 times 10 to the negative 5. If you remember me saying earlier, our concentrations are very small numbers. These are very small ions. So that's a really small number. Okay? We use the pH scale to give us a better number to work with something 1 through 14, hopefully. So in order to do this, I have to plug it into my equation. So let's go back here. Here is my equation. pH is equal to the negative log of that H plus concentration. So you're going to need your calculator. Take a second now and pull it out so you can see what buttons we're talking about. Okay, so now, remember, we have to press the minus button because it's negative log. And then you want to press your log key. Your log key might be an actual key, or you might have to hit second and find the log. So look at your calculator now. Then we're going to put in this number. And if you remember, we've learned how to put in numbers that are in scientific notation. And you'll put 1.0, hit the little round EE button. Again, look on yours. Yours just might be a capital E button. Negative 5. So in the end, pH is equal to negative log of this number here, that's how you put in your calculator, and you should get 5.00 as an answer. Check now to make sure you put this in correctly. Now, how do we do sig figs on this? That's what I'm going to teach you next. Okay. Um, also, if you notice, pH has no unit, so you'll never have a unit on pH. Okay. Sig figs for pH is a bit unique. They do not follow normal rules for sig figs. So again, sig figs are different for pH. So if we look here, we just got an answer of 1.0 times 10 to the negative fifth. Um, I'm sorry, we just got an answer of 5.00. How do we do sig figs on that? Well, our given was 1.0 times 10 to the negative fifth. And if you notice, there were two sig figs in our given. One, two. Trailing zeros are significant if there's a decimal somewhere present in the number. Okay. So how do we do sig figs in our pH number? Our sig figs match how many decimal places we give our pH. So we don't care to look at the front number for sig figs. We still put it there. But it, our sig figs tells us how many decimal places we should add after. Okay, so two sig figs means two decimal places. Please recognize this is a very different way to do pH. I mean to do sig figs. Okay. How about if I want to do the reverse? Let's say instead of giving you the H plus concentration, I'm giving you this side of the equation on the opposite side of the equal. So I'm giving you pH and you're solving for H plus. 
Well, that's called the inverse, the inverse, okay? So let's take a look at this problem. Calculate the H plus if the pH is 7.0. So again, now I'm giving you this side of the equation. So the inverse is what we're going to be doing, okay? Remember, we're still going to be using our equation. The only difference is I plug in my 7.0 and my pH, and I'm solving for this side. Again, this is called the inverse. The inverse for a pH, remember, in this slide here, we said log is a base 10. Logarithms involve base 10 logs. So in order to do the inverse, you're going to take 10 to the negative of the pH. Okay, So 10 to the negative of the pH. So you want to press 10 to the X button, find it on your calculator. You might actually just have a button that says 10 to the X, or you might have to press second to get that button. And then you want to put in a negative sign, and then the pH value. So an, a good way of saying this is 10 to the negative pH is how you do the inverse. So notice I punched in 10, and I raised it to the negative 7 because pH was 7. You have to put in the negative sign. And you should get 1 times 10 to the negative 7. 1 times 10 to the negative 7. Good? 1 decimal place, 1 sig fig. Okay? All right, here are some other equations we're going to be using. We just, we talked about the pH one. You know this. We talked about this one right here. Maybe we can even say... Um, 10 to the negative pH to be more specific instead of 10 to the negative X. Okay, and here are some new ones in green. All right, so just like we have pH, we can have something called pOH. Well, and you probably guessed it. P is the measure of the H plus concentration. pOH measures the OH concentration. So I can have pH plus pOH, and they should equal 14, which is the total on the pH scale. I can also do this. My OH concentration times my H plus concentration should always equal 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14. And just like we had pH equals negative log of H plus, we have pOH equals the negative log of the OH ions. This measures the concentration of OH ions, which is the ion associated with our base. Okay. All right, let's look at our last problem seen here. There's many problems you can do. Here's another example. Calculate the pH for a solution that has a hydroxide concentration equal to 1.0 times 10 to the negative 3. I'm going to do this in two steps. Again, sometimes there are multiple ways you can do this. So here's the way I'm going to solve for this. So I look here and I say, I have an OH value. Which equations have OH in them? OH is seen here. OH is seen here. So I can use either one of these equations. Doesn't matter which one. 